big game breakdown. Let's talk about the Buckeyes and the Hawkeyes. Ohio State minus 19 and a half. Total of 45 against Iowa. This one on Saturday in Columbus. Looking at the free Wager Talk live odd screen. And of course, we've seen only one recent meeting between these two teams. 2022 here in Columbus. 54 to 10. Ohio State. So the recent series history certainly is in favor of the Buckeyes. We know Iowa's going to shut down bad offenses. All right, that's another pretty darn good defense. We know they're going to shut down mediocre offenses, even good offenses, maybe some great offenses. That's how good Iowa's defense is. But there's, what, about half a dozen teams in college football of NFL caliber offenses. You know the teams, Georgia, Alabama, blah, blah, blah. Ohio State's on that list. And I don't think that Iowa's defense is good enough to shut down the truly elite offenses. Will Howard's averaging, what, 9.9 yards per pass attempt? He's only with two interceptions. Jeremiah Smith, Amike Buga, uh, Carnell Tate. They got 54 catches between them. Their top two backs, both averaging, averaging more than eight yards per carry. They faced a real defense last week in East Lansing and shredded them. Yes, there's a road trip on deck to Oregon for the Buckeyes. But the Big Ten is all about marquee matchups this year. And under Ryan Day, the Buckeyes have not really had a look-ahead problem. And this elite offense is clicking 38-plus in all four games. Before I talk about Iowa, I do want to let you guys know about two great offers right now. First, seven-day all-access pass, 77 bucks at wagertalk.com. Any capper, not just me, anybody. Great opportunity to get on board. Don't buy a play, get a pack. See what we can do for you for a week. 77 bucks. Great opportunity to get on board. Just visit the website, wagertalk.com, or my page, wt.buzz backslash TC. And of course, the gold sheet, which has been around since 1954. It's just $5 this week. Easy download. Check that out at wagertalk.com as well. So Iowa, they're 4 to the over this year. <laughs> Total is finally low enough after last year. And they can score against the Troys and the Illinois States, even against Minnesota. But Cade McNamara, only 5.9 yards per pass attempt versus that level of competition. Three touchdown passes in four games. This is not a passing game that scares anyone. There's no wide receiving, uh, no receiver on the team with more than 145 yards. There's no big play threats. If Iowa falls behind, they can't catch up. If they can't run, they can't win. The whole offense is running back Caleb Johnson and his 8.4 yards per carry. And Johnson ain't running for 8.4 yards per carry in Columbus. They lost 26 to nothing to Michigan last year, 42 to three the previous meeting with the Wolverines, 54 to 10 the last meeting against Ohio State, 35 nothing versus Tennessee. This team, Iowa, we love them against everyone but the elites, but they can't hang versus the elites. If I'm playing, I'm laying. What do you think? Let us know with a comment below. We appreciate the likes, and certainly more than 175,000 of you have now subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. If you haven't done it, do it right now. You get instant alerts when our programming goes live. There's your big game breakdown.